This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. How are you? It is time now for the ramble. The ramble goes until midnight Eastern Standard Time, and uh, we're here. And I go to ten twenty-five. You ten twenty-five? <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me show them you. Yeah, uh, that's that's her. That's the uh, that's the old lady. Remember when they used to call you wives the old lady? How's your old lady? Well, there's my. That was old before lady. my time. How is the old lady? Good. Is the old lady fine? She's yeah. getting there. Yeah, she's getting there. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, and let me see. Where are we? Go- where are we? Where are we going to go from here? Uh, uh, let me. Uh, first of all, uh, let's see here. Anything new in your life that you you want to? Uh, no, talk I'm glad about? that there's a weekend here. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just uh, a weekend. Yeah. To enjoy yourself. It was a hard week. It was a hard week. Why was it a hard week? Because well, I had a lot of stuff to do. Well, because also you took you took a lot of time off. I had to, still catching up. Yeah, yeah. So she she still works, and I can't find a job. I'll so. trade in a day. Well, in a moment, I would love to be working right now. <laughs> Not I really me. Would. I would love to be. You know, I would love that uh, uh, that feeling you get of going to work, getting something done. You know, it's keeping you alive. What can I say? So, how, uh, do you know? Well, it's a good excuse to put makeup on. No, yeah. it's true. I get dressed, I take a shower, I put makeup on. I wouldn't do that normally. But you don't kiss me goodbye anymore. Well, you sleep in the other room, so there. Well, why don't you come kiss me goodbye when I'm in the other room? Sorry, that doesn't. That room doesn't exist. The only reason I'm using that room, I'll tell you, it's not that I don't like sleeping with you because there's nothing wrong with sleeping with you. You're not. You don't. You do, you do snore sometimes. Not like you used to. Not like I used to. I still to, wear the earplugs, just I, in case you have like a misstep. Have you heard me snore? Every once in a while, there's a snore that comes out. Yeah, but with you, I. But anyway, I. It's not that I don't want to sleep in the same bed with you. It's that because of certain problems I got, like the numb feet and the uh, torn meniscus. Where's my little and so violin? On. Wait a minute. That bed. When I wake up, I feel. I. I don't feel as much. Can you hear me? Oh, jeez. She has no sympathy for anybody's I'm, ailments but her own. I'm playing the violin for yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's mocking me. Look, she's mocking me, folks. <laughs> anyway, so I the reason, it's just in many ways a more comfortable bed for me to I lie in. I think you should stay there permanently. Why? Because I like the bed. I like it without you. Really? Your, I yeah. thought I almost didn't do the audio here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 oh, when wow. you come in, I always forget to do something. Oh, yeah. now it's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> it's always yeah. my fault. Oh, yeah, but I did turn it on. Yes, it, I did. So we're all going, wait a minute, my, it, 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 this isn't fitting right. It's, uh, see, see, this is, this is the undershirt is showing down there, and I don't want it to show there. And I wore the same sweatshirt last night. I have a limited selection of sweatshirts. You've got an entire shelf of sweatshirts. Well, no, but of those which I'll wear. I have a good guy, WMCA good guy sweatshirt. Why don't you get rid of some of them? No, I don't want to get rid of them. So don't complain. You've got at least a dozen sitting there. No, I don't have a dozen. I don't have a dozen. And some of them I don't wear because they're collector's items, and I don't want to wear them out. This... Hell, you know, we bought this when we were down in New Orleans. New Orleans. Okay, so now let me let me let the for those who 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 are watching us on video. If you're not, go over to Facebook. Uh, go uh, facebook.com forward slash a Bennett. Okay, and then you will see our video because you're going to do something here, right? Yes. Now explain. What, what are you doing playing with that other stuff? Oh, 
Look, stop it. Stop no, it, pay, stop it, stop it. Pay attention to the show. You're always on my case. Yeah, pay attention to the you're show. You're always on my pay case. Pay attention to me. I'm over here. You're I'm not, not over there. You're not my priority. You just always like to potchke around with so stuff. So what? It's in my nature. And on one occasion, she took us off the air, if I remember correctly. I think that was you. Oh, really? Uh, anyway, you me. know the advertisement. You see it in Facebook all By the, the way, time. how many of you out there think this marriage will last? I give it like another six seconds. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> another six seconds? That's it. Why are you treating me so nasty? Who's treating you nasty? I love you and adore you. Yeah, right. And I'm here, aren't what, I? What do you mean, right? <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? Anyway, we have a commercial. You know the commercial for the... the we don't have a commercial. We're going to do a commercial. We're not going to do a commercial. We're going to see if it works. Commercials are things you get paid for. <laughs> well, that's true. Right. So we're podcasts. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, what's... what's the they have this on, on Facebook. You mm -hmm. see it everywhere. It's, and different manufacturers are all in on this. It's a cream that they put underneath. What do you mean? There's more than one of these out manufacturers? there? Manufacturers, yeah. I mean, you see it all the it's time. It's probably a very simple process. So well, it's I've, got it's, mud in it. And mud shrinks. Mud shrinks? Yeah. Really? Yeah, don't you ever put Well, mud? anyway, tell them what this thing supposedly it does. It takes away the bags. It reduces yeah. the bags because it has some stuff that actually shrinks the, um, the skin. So it takes the bags away. And yeah. it's good for a couple of hours. The downside is it is made of mud. And after a couple of hours, you get this, like, sheen of dry mud on your face anyway i can't wear it it's very drying but alex can and you know how like in the advertisements they have a clock right next to it to yeah. show how aunt bessie's left eye <laughs> it well, reduces now, now here, so we're gonna do well, alex me, and i'm gonna let, time it let me just show people my face you see this I is the before these, face. I have these bags here we're here, gonna do it on one eye here, so you, here, just like the, the advertisement face, the before face okay and I guess I'll, I'll go like this later when I, when I do it. Okay, so you, you, you take this stuff. Okay, wait a minute. Let me show people what you're doing. I'm getting, hold, hold on. What, let me show oops. them what you're doing here. There, I'm getting there's. ready to prepare. Okay, show, show the thing. Show the thing. Yeah, you see. Okay, okay. so you're preparing um, me. And so now and it takes about three to five minutes. It takes about three to five no, minutes. No, you ha come here no. just so they can see it being done. Just like in the ads. You just dab it on. Just right? dab it on. Okay, hold now on. We're, we're hold just, on, hold on. We're just what but we're just doing one eye. Oh, right, so, so that, you can see the difference. That, well, this yeah. is how they have Aunt Set, Sally. Oh, oh there there's the time. How long is it supposed to take? Three to five minutes. Okay, we'll sit down there again. Because uh uh, you know. Uh, you're you're watching. So so, how long is this supposed to take? Five minutes. Three to five. Okay, minutes. now look, folks. It'll just happen very now. slowly. Okay, just see, like in see the, the bags under my eyes. Okay, you see them. Okay, see what happens to the twenty six seconds. The, it's this eye we've got the the cream in. Okay, twenty six seconds. No, okay, it's 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 this eye that the cream is in. Right, just let okay. it do its job. Just Mud let and it. Everything. Let it do its job. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see what happens. There you, you know, go. You never know. You yeah. never know. But while we're sitting here, let's talk. And uh, Must we? Well, <laughs> well, it's the only time we talk to each it's other. It's true. You what? Talk, you talk to everybody for hours. Just talk and... into the microphone, we? What? Talk. Uh, that's why I gave you a microphone. You talk to everybody but me. Like, who do I talk to? Your friends, your ex-wives, your Shecky. I, I haven't talked to Shecky all week. It doesn't matter. I when you do, my when, you, when you talk to Shecky, it's always an I, I hour. I talked to my ex-wife for the first time in two weeks. It doesn't because, matter. If you, you know, take all had, the time that we have spoken during a course of one week, it's under an hour. It's probably more like 15 minutes. That's all I'm saying. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh. I don't care why or who or what you well, talk about. I, I, well, we'll I don't do. care about What we'll about do is that. tomorrow we will not turn on a television set. We will not watch movies we'll or anything. We'll go in the living room and chat. No, I don't want to We've go in the living room. We've tried that. We're going to have to go into the living room to chat. Just turn off the damn television set. You know? Okay. You know, we'll have a whole day. We should do a date night. A, da a okay, date night? Okay, we're night? almost at two minutes. Okay. Oops. And, and, and look, is, is anything happening with let the eye? Let me see. Let me see. Look at me. Look at me. Let me see here. It's, it's this, it's this yeah. eye. Yeah. Don't touch it's it. Let me see. Look at me. Yeah. 
Is it's beginning. Happening? It's beginning to. It's beginning to. Look a lot like Christmas. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. Well, yeah. This is how they do it <laughs> on the uh, ads. And then you, you better do this side, too, because well, otherwise I'm going to be lopsided for I'll, the whole I'll show. I'll do it after, but there's a difference already. I can it, see can it. Can you see yeah. it? Yeah. Let me see here, folks. Can you see it? Let me... Let me, like, get really up here and in your face. Just like in the ad. See, it's this eye here. Yeah, they know. I can, I can see it myself. Yeah. Yeah. Let yeah. me see. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, how many minutes are we up to? We're up to two minutes, two and a half minutes. So, And five minutes is when it really... Well, about. Yeah. yeah. Some people could take longer. Some it people. kind of... They, it doesn't sting. It's like it a kind pulling. Of feels, it's yeah, a pulling. It's like a pulling on your well, eyes. Well, that's what mud does. Hmm? That's what mud does when really? it dries. Do you know this has gotten us a lot of viewers? The mud? Uh, yeah, this thing has gotten us more viewers at one time I'm available than for commercials. Else. And, and they're waiting to see what happens to my eyes. Oh, the eyes! <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it looks nice so far. Yeah, there's a big difference. It, it, there is a big difference? Yeah. Now, it's, again, it's this eye. Well, we can it's see it. Eye. You don't have to point. It's, it's, a, it's, it's that eye. It's, you can see it now. Well, can you, can you see the difference, folks? Because I can't, uh, I can't look down at the monitor. But look, it's this eye here. Stop touching it. Um, I'll Let touch me it. see. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it, now, if you were to like put wash your face, it comes it, off. It, it would just. It's mud. Well, how do you know it's mud? Because I know I I saw something written about it. Mud is a base in that, and mud pulls. That's why mud is good for like beast things. Why can't they come up with something like this that will last for a whole day? Oh, it'll last for an evening. Will it? Yes. Yeah, so if you have a dinner party to go to, just dab it on. I wouldn't do it because I find it's very drying. See, I could go for And for a, us women, we know to keep well, the eyes moist. Well, if you can give me $4,000, I can get my eyes done. I can get the bags taken away, and then I it won't need the mud. Oh, well, mud's cheaper. The mud's cheaper. I'll give you a barrel of mud for nothing. But I might be able to get work. I don't think so. What? <laughs> no, because so. when I walk in, they won't say there's that old guy because I, the bags won't be showing. Course, why do you have, have to, to have get, an interview? Why do you have to show yourself for radio? Well, because they want to see Shouldn't who you are. Shouldn't they go by your voice? They probably should. Yeah. Now, how does it how does it look to you? Oh my God, it's amazing. Right. How does it look to you? Okay, how does it look, folks out there? It's it's this eye. Okay. Let me get closer to the camera. And we're almost at five minutes. There we're we almost go. at five minutes. There we go. Let me what see. Do you, what do you think? I'm going to turn it off at five minutes. Are you going to turn it off at five minutes? Five minutes. Let me see. It's okay. It's a big difference. Is, is it? Let me yeah. see here, folks. There, That's the eye right there. Right. That's the one. Let me look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at it compared to this. Yeah. Look at it. Now, yeah. uh, you better do the other eye. Let me see. It's, just let it sit for a minute. I'll do it in a minute. It, it, but let it, it just sit. Yeah, but, yeah, but don't do... You gotta, I won't forget. I I know you won't forget. I'll grab that goo out of your... F I won't yeah. forget. Yeah. So, um, yeah. okay. Are you yeah. going to do the other one now? Yeah, I'll do the other now, one. Now, come over here to the camera or put it up close to the camera and show them what you're doing exactly. You know, see? It's pre-measured. It's, it's pre-measured? Yeah. Oh, you just scoop, scoop it once. It. Okay. And so now she's going to do it to me. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me. Oops. Let me do that. And you just it says dab it on. Dab it on. Yeah. Da -da, hey, look, your hands got smaller. <laughs> Don't put it on your dick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. So and and so you can see there's a bag here, but uh, uh, there on was this, a bag. There was, isn't a bag here. But there is a bag here, but it's going to go away now. I'm going to give this to you, and I'll put it on for you every night. You put it on for me every night when I do the show? Yeah. Only on the nights when I'm doing like a half hour of talking to people. When I no normally just have like either pre-taped interview or whatever, no need to do that. A paper towel. A paper towel? Just a sheet. Why, are your hands shrinking now? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, we'll get back to this. Uh, start the clock. Going. God, I'm getting to look lovely. You know, the only problem is, here's the problem, and, and people may notice this, I have, for some reason, and I think that's because I need the lift here, that's one of the things he's going to do for the eyes, an is eye a lift, lift and the uh, lift from down below, upper and lower lid lift, okay, which is a medical procedure because I need it. Wow. For I medical mean, that reasons. is a big difference. But, but what you see is you see this red there, so it's kind of, because my eyes still droop. Uh, you so. put some makeup on the red. 
put some makeup on the red. Yeah. Do da do da. <laughs> so uh, let me see here. Let's let uh, let's see which eye. Oh, this is the eye we just did. Okay. Do I look do I look better? What what do you think, folks? If I look better, if oh we had some people go away now. If I look better uh, than I looked before, would you please send a smiley face across the screen? You're going to send crying faces. Huh? <laughs> They'll send crying faces. You'd send little crying faces? Yeah, come on. Well, let's see what they say. Do I do I look better? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Hmm. Do you see a difference? Well, it's hard for me to see because I, I have to put on my glasses, and then when I put my glasses on, you can't you see can't the bottom. You can't just see in the mirror? I can look, yeah, I can see it in the mirror. Yeah, it's so fine. there you go. Except for the fact that the eyes are so red up above. That's I, life. Uh, yeah. But that's, that, oh, look, they're all smiling, and they're saying, yes, you do look better. <laughs> your left side uh, looks okay. better than your right. Y yeah, yeah. Uh, Gabnet makeup artist Marjorie Miller. <laughs> and the Larry Ellis says, Charlene, this is uh, how you can put the heat eye above the camera, silly. What? I don't know what that means. Look, they got look at all the I all the smiley that. faces like crazy I that people are that. doing and hearts and everything. Look at me, a new sex symbol. <laughs> the new you. Yeah. So anyway. So have you been watching any good movies lately? She watches one movie after another. So you watch one she, television she program watched, after another. She watched, was watching a movie tonight. I'll tell you how much she watches movies and doesn't know what she's watching. It's background music. No, for wait me. a minute. Let me put this one. We went and saw a movie, it had to be six months ago, called The City of Z, I think it was called. I'm something of yeah, Z. Yeah, The City of Z. And we went to it because it was based on a true story and it's supposed to be really terrific. And we went to see the movie and we both hated it. I forgot. We both hated it because at the end, you don't really find out what happens to well, the guy. Well, this is the problem. When, when it's a really bad movie, I totally forget that it, I saw it. Yeah, well, so oh, now serious. she's watching a movie tonight and going, and I said, what are you watching? She's watching for like 20 minutes. And I go, what are you watching? She says, oh, The City of Z. I said, oh, you don't remember seeing that movie and absolutely hating it. Yeah, but the problem is it doesn't stay in my mind. The hate, the ones that are horrible, they just kind of filter through. So I Well, I wish you'd remember them. I'd rather remember the good ones. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, then of course, I'll, I'll have... A, in, the, here's the thing about my lovely wife. Here we go. Uh, I want her to watch a movie with me, which it got great reviews. That doesn't mean I have to watch it no, with no, you. No, no, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Got great reviews. And uh, so I wanted to uh, have her watch it with me because I th it's a very fascinating story about this Professor Marston who created Wonder Woman and lived with two women. And it, it's a very empowering story about women. Okay? Wait a minute. Let me finish. And it's gotten great reviews. And you know something? Wonder Woman did it for no, me. No, I don't no, no, have to no, go no. any further. No, but this doesn't. This is not Wonder Woman. This is about that relationship and the life of this guy. It doesn't interest me. He invented me. the. Uh, he invented the. You Why know, must he, I watch? He something? invented the lie detector. It doesn't interest no, me. No, but you're saying it doesn't interest you. But I'm. I'm trying to get you to watch something. I think you're really going to like. I don't want to watch it. See, that's what I'm talking about. So there. That, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I don't want to watch it. It doesn't interest me. Well, you, you know, you said that to me the other night after I mentioned it and told you what it was about. And then I came back and said, you sure you don't want to watch that? And he says, no, it doesn't interest me. I said, what did I tell you it was about? And she says, it's about people. That's what you told me. You actually said women. that to me. It's about, no, you, no, you said it's about <laughs> people. It's about women. It's about women. Yeah, I said, well, what kind of women? You know, and she just couldn't, she couldn't even tell me. She didn't know what the movie was about, but she knew she didn't want to see it. And the reason she didn't want to see it, you got this, folks, is because I wanted to watch That's it. That's right. That's exactly right. Yeah. And I'm not it's, watching it's it. It's gotten to that. If I want to watch it, you don't want to watch it. Hey, you watch a round of tennis with me, and I'll watch your Wonder Woman okay, movie. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. I'll do that. All I'll right. watch one whole game of tennis. A match. match a whole match of tennis. And then you'll watch the Wonder Woman movie. Okay. Not the Wonder Woman movie. It's a, it's Dr. Marston. It's and the behind the, the scenes. And the Wonder Woman. No, it's a true story about these. He had these two women who his wife and and their their lover. The one that came to live with them. The, the one that came to live with them. And between the three of them, they came up with this whole Wonder Woman thing. 
And yet they had to kind of be in the background on this. All right, you're going to watch a full game with me. Yeah, well, which, which happens first? You watch the movie and then I no, watch the watch game? you watch the match Well, oh, I have to watch yes, the match first. That's okay. the deal. And will you tell me how tennis is played? No, you'll figure See, it out. See, here's what happens. This is another thing in our little family. Boy, what a family, huh? This is terrific. Uh, it's 1025, by the way. I'm just saying. You want a little bell to ring when yes. you give a time signal? Yes. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, um, what was I going to say? I have no idea. Uh, wait a minute. It was about... It was about uh, tennis. Oh, about tennis, yeah. When we first got married, she said, I, there's one thing about me, I have to watch tennis, and I like Neil Diamond. <laughs> I didn't uh, say and, Neil uh, Diamond then. I said it <laughs> much later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Neil Diamond. Okay, and, anyway, and, anyway. And who so was she, your assistant then? What was his name? Oh, uh, Michael Billy. No, before Michael Billy. I, I didn't have his. Yes, assistant. you did. The funny one. The fun, oh, oh, you mean Garrett? Garrett. Well, no, Garrett. Get, when yeah. you when you told oh she's got something that she wants to tell me. Garrett thought that was like maybe I was whoring around or something. No. Anyway, so here was here was the story. So. She tells me I like I like tennis. Only and, the four majors. And, and the four majors, which take up, by the way, eight t t weeks total out of the year. So the four majors. So I said, great, Spread out. great. You know, you, you can watch it in the living room, and I'll go watch whatever I want to in the bedroom, or vice versa. Well, now we I, have I don't two care. bedrooms. Well, now we have more than that. But anyway, and and so we had a deal where when we moved into this apartment, she would use the guest room. You remember Never to watch tennis in, in the living and you, room, and so you, or the living room, and I got the bedroom to watch TV. Yeah, but now we have two bedrooms with your. She's kind of TV. she's a lying motherfucker, okay? A lying, as you know, sack do shit. <laughs> uh, they, that's a French term. He just went out and bought a brand new television and the speakers and everything that you can imagine and the sound bar. And that is in the guest room, and there you go. You've well, got, got your own. I've got a better picture, and i got better sound than so you got in the bedroom. So what are you complaining about? Well, I don't care now. That's why I'm in the bedroom all night. Stay there. It's, oh, oh, is that what it's come to? <laughs> Stay there. Did you hear that, folks? Well, you won't get your kiss. Can this marriage be saved? <laughs> if you think this marriage can be saved, send us a smiley face across the screen. Send hatchets. <laughs> send a bow and arrow. Send a bow and arrow. Oh, send boy. machine guns. Well, so how do my eyes look? Good. That left one looks much better. But I think because it's been one longer. Yeah. But yeah, definitely yeah. there's a difference. Yeah. Well, wow. I mean, it's a major difference. Can you do anything about the dewlap You know, here? something you could yeah, probably yeah. could because it tightens. Well, no, I mean, I, if I, I, maybe I can get a whole facelift and wind up looking like a 45-year-old boy. Now, I don't want... I don't, I don't want to face look. Oh, look, they're smiling and they're saying this marriage can be saved. You think so? Uh, you, you foolish people. Well, look, wait a minute. Stop a second. For those who think this marriage can't be saved, send a frowny face. And we'll see what happens. Okay. I'm rolling over. You're rolling over? I'm rolling over. No, why are you rolling it's 10, over? It's you, you, and it takes me two minutes to roll over. Oh, uh, uh, really? Yeah. As you get older, it takes longer so to here roll I over. Come. Here she comes. Here I come. Here she comes. Here I come. There we are. Oh, here boy. Are. She rolled over. I rolled over. Thank you, Fido. Roll over, Rover. Anyway, let me see here. Let me get the panel up and ready. And, uh, and we, call in. Uh, huh? Call in. We, well, of course. That's why we turn on the Skype for us. We, uh, uh, Rob was having some problems with a new version of Skype last night, but for the life of me, I can't get it to happen here. So I don't know what the problem is, but who knows? Maybe I've talked too early. Maybe we, uh, tonight people come on and they'll all be in little circles and stuff. Did you hear that whole thing going on last night? No. On the show? Then you well, didn't listen to I the show. I listened to it, but I'm no. working while I'm listening to it. You didn't listen to the show. I did listen to it. No, you don't listen to the show. Right after Morning Joe, I put you on. You put me on. After Morning Joe. Mm -hmm. And at, then... At work. Yeah. Okay. How do they feel about you watching Morning Joe? Everybody has earphones on their desk. Really? Everybody's got their earphones on. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, I should uh, block out everything else. By the way, I'm drinking Pete's Major Dickinson's Blend tonight, but during the day now, I'm drinking Pete's Big Bang. Doesn't this keep you up at it, night? It's great. No. Well, no. Well, why do you take Because I take massive amounts of medicine that puts okay. me to sleep. 
I I have coffee at five in the morning and that's it. Yeah. Well, we're I mean, waiting. I, we're waiting for people to call. Maybe we got a lot of people watching. You know. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Yeah. It's it's that's a goodly amount because the and, and because you know why? Because no, I, I don't, Larry Ellis. What would you say? Nothing. So, so nigh what? So nigh L O L. What is that? It was the next one. Oh, she loves you. No, I don't. You don't love me? No. Oh. Okay, well, I'm waiting for somebody yeah, I to I like call you and you show. have a nice personality. Really? <laughs> Is that what they say? Yeah, he has a nice personality. <laughs> on the, on, the, on the, dot, the mating. You know, we may not hear from anybody tonight. Well, it, it doesn't look better, like it. This girl's tired. It doesn't look like it. I have the where's lines open. Where's everyone when you need them? I have the lines where's open. Where's Jeff? Where's Brian? Where's Phil? Phil's been, uh, Phil went to uh, Texas and spent time with Amy and well, her like husband. that was last week. No, that was this week. Oh. And then he had things he had to do, and then he was coming back last night. So tonight he should be out there, but nobody is uh, calling. Well, you know why? Because we started talking too early. We That's started talking problem. at 10 o'clock. What? At 10 o'clock. No, no, we, st we started, we st stopped talking, rather, like earlier I than I normally I rolled over did. at 10.29. Well, I see Rob Alfano's coming online, Good, so... Rob, yeah. great. So he'll replace you, thank great. God. Thank you, Rob. Oh, boy. Yeah. Where is he? Yeah. I, I bet, you know, he has his own theater now in his I home. I saw. Did you see that? Wouldn't you love to have that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love his microphone. It kind of like hangs down. Yeah, what right. What's that? that that's, I don't know. I'm getting messages. Washington Post. Government barrels towards shut, uh, show, shutdown after Senate blocks short-term spending bill. Well. So what'd they say? Huh? We're going to have a shutdown? Yeah, they're going to have a shutdown or something like yeah, that. Yeah, give them something to do. Here, here comes, uh, here comes wow, Rob. Wow, hey. look at that microphone. I love yeah. it. Uh, yeah, yeah, but wait a minute. Let me, uh, let me uh, just uh, do that. There we go. There's Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. How's it going? It's going good. It's I going, love well, I mean, except, except for her being here. Well, I'm, I'm ready to leave. <laughs> This girl's ready now. You to think leave. you think we just argue for the air here, and that it's the way we live our life on the air, this and it's is, all for show. But no, this is, this is the real this is thing. The real thing. This is the real thing. <laughs> you know something? If I died, you'd miss me. Probably. Yeah. I'd miss the nagging. Oh, the nagging. I don't nag. You nag. Who is this? Who? Phone? I don't know who this is. I have no idea. This is a somebody calling using the phone. Who's calling using a phone? Who is this calling? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Who, who is it? Who is it? It's James. James. Yes. Do you have a video? Are you, are you going to speak up a little bit so we can find out more about you? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Yes, James. What can we do for you? Okay, James. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you know, What's that all about? Huh? Yeah. What What's that, that all about? about? Is right. Yeah. Here comes the stud. What? Wait a minute. Somebody's ringing, and it's. Uh, I'm trying to. What the? Heck? Uh, I I don't know what your problem is, Mike. Call back. Oh, there it is. There, there, is. there we are, Mike. There, there we go. You always have problems, Mike. The first call. You're you're a technical. Uh... Stop it. Oh, stop it. Be what? nice. You know exactly. Hey, what Alex, you know that stuff you got on your eyes? Yeah. It has Botox in it. No, it doesn't. Read the directions. No, it doesn't have Botox. <laughs> the Botox is... has to be injected, injected to work. No, he means the the that stuff. This stuff? No, it's not. Botox. It's mud. It's basically mud it's in mud. a tube. Does everybody know, are my eyes less baggy? Let me see. Yeah, yeah it yeah, is. Huh? Especially this one. It does. Watch it does, it does look like better. the commercial. Yeah, that's why I do have the clock. <laughs> yeah. So, so. Women they say preparation H works well around no, your no, eyes. No, no it doesn't. It, it, wait a minute, wait a minute. Eyes. It used to. It used to, but not anymore. What? Preparation H. Yeah, it still does. No, it doesn't. It shrinks. No, it doesn't. Well, the models used They changed the formulation. The old huh. Preparation H, before they changed the formulation, was what they called a Detroit eye tuck. 
uh, and you would it put. It tightened it up. You can put. You could put Preparation H on, on bags under your eyes, and it would tighten them up. But it doesn't do it anymore because they took out whatever it is that shrinks stuff like that. Oh, it's a shame. Now it just greases your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, but uh, but I uh, um, yeah, this this uh, kind of works, I guess. I don't know. That's yeah, it. this this is baggier. So it, this okay. one's baggier. That's yeah. the one you put on first. No, this is the one I put. No, this is the one. Alex, this is the one I put. Oh, on this first. is the one you. Wait a minute, I have to see. Yeah, yeah. okay. I I don't know. You know, he's I, losing it. I'm I'm not losing it. You're losing it. <laughs> You can't even remember movies you've already seen. Well, because if they're bad, I don't remember I them. I mean, have any of you had that when you started watching a movie and you're watching and watching it and somebody had to tell you, well, we, you saw that already and you hated it? Did you ever Happened read a book? To me a lot. Does it happen to you a lot, Rob? Really? Absolutely. I'm yeah. so bad with How about a book when you're like 90 pages in, okay. all of a sudden you know what this character's going to do. It's like, God yeah. damn it, I read this book already. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was reading the Trump book the other day. Uh, and Which one? I, Which one? The Fire and Fury. Fire and Fury. And uh, I suddenly realized that I was reading the same 10 pages over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But uh, then again, it, it, it doesn't matter because it, it, his life is a continual same thing over and over and over again. It is. It's nonstop Trump. Yeah. So it looks like, we're, it looks like uh, the government's going to close down. A little shut down. Uh, and I, uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to that. We've been through it before. <laughs> Me too. We've been Me too. I want to see what's going to happen. Yeah, just, We've been through it before. Yeah, Nothing just, happens. Just as long as the Social Security check comes next month, I don't give a shit. You know, it's already gotten here, so, um, you know. Um, but, uh, oh, here here comes Jason. D.C. will be sorry. What? D.C. vacationers will be sorry. Oh, oh yeah. Well, it, I, I, they said... Well, they're not going to close down the national parks this time. Really? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. No, I, I saw tonight they said they'll be the last thing to go. But it's the I'm middle of fucking winter. It's the middle, middle of fucking winter. Who wants to go to a national park? But he's going to throw the bears out of Yellowstone or something. What's he going to do to the bears? He's going to allow his son to shoot them. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah. Both sides. They they just said on the news Trump's not going to weaponize the shutdown the way Obama did. What does that mean? Weaponize? That means he's not going to do shit. That's what it really means. Oh. What do you no, mean? They'll, they'll take the uh, they'll take the uh, what do they call them uh, park uh, guys out. You know, not have them there. They just won't shut the gates. You know what he is? He has never let go of. He has never let go of the fact that Obama kidded him at the correspondence That's dinner. That's right. That's right. Hey, he, and Obama has a great Everything he humor. does is to try and discredit Obama. Yeah. And and you're going, why? You know. Did you hear what Lindsey Graham said about him yesterday? Yes, yes. What, he's got Did a nice that ass? little interview? Yeah. Uh, Lindsey Graham was asked about, um, you know, whether he thought Trump was racist. And he said, absolutely not. This man is not racist. He doesn't give a damn what your color is. If you attack him, he's going to attack you. He's a fighter. And it doesn't matter what color you are. If you want to get someplace with the, with him, yeah. you need to be nice to him. That's what Putin is doing. Kiss this, it ass. Yeah. Yes. This is what Graham was saying yesterday. This guy is like, he's pathological, has to be liked, wants to be liked. If you cross him in any way, he doesn't care what color your skin is. He doesn't care anything. That's what Lindsey Graham basically said yesterday. Oh, wow. Well, it's nice to know we have such a thin-skinned human being as president of the United States. There. What? A person who's mentally uh, unstable. Yeah. You could say that he's not insane or anything like that but, mentally, but he has major he, character flaws definitely no and people yeah. know how to uh take advantage of that yeah well supposedly if he kisses ass and you say nice things to him he'll he'll give you the he, he, give you anything you want that's why they're all saying nice things about him that's that's why that's why they're trying to stay on his good side yes Je uh, uh, yes jason so they say that they gave him a cognitive test or whatever with his physical, right? Yes, cognition, yeah. Cognition test, okay. Yeah. Did they give one to the doctor, too? <laughs> 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 he failed. 
You know, it was really funny on um, one of the talk shows. They were showing because I said he's 6'3 and weighs about 230 pounds. So they took five oh, football players that were 6'3 and then were in around 230 pounds. And they said, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> yes, Patrick. Two things. The uh, doctor that examined the President Trump yeah. was oh, President Obama's doctor. So if you're going to start talking shit about him. Just remember, he was Obama's doctor as well. Yeah. And the other thing is, I didn't put this on Facebook because it, nobody's going to give a shit, but I figured I'd say something. Is it now okay to fat shame? Because it seems like <laughs> everybody jumping on Trump, and I'm no Trump supporter, but all of a sudden, everybody on the left who is anti-bullying, anti-this, anti that it's now okay to talk about him being made of bubble gum and all of this other shit when did that become okay i mean where the stand i think it's fine uh i yeah, always, me too <laughs> if there's something you can help you can make fun absolutely. of absolutely <laughs> listen i've always had a standard that if somebody who i like is overweight i'm going to tell them they are because i don't think i'm doing them any favors by saying no you don't look fat you know because I want, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm enabling them. And I'm killing them by doing that. So which is worse? And like... I shame it, you. Quite frankly, I don't want to kid Trump about his fat because I'd like him to die from it. Okay? <laughs> you, you know. So... Uh, I, hmm? Alex, that can't happen fast enough. <laughs> I agree. I totally agree. You know, I, I just think that... Uh, I, I think he's a bad example to people and uh, to ki the kids of America about healthy eating. Yeah. He gives fat people a bad name. He gives fat people a bad name. Exactly. Right. right. Now, I mean, some people are, are, are overweight because they, you know, they, they are, are mitigating circumstances, and I understand that. In his case, uh, this is a guy who should have been taking better care of himself over the years, and he hasn't, you know? Uh, so, I'm, I'm just saying. But... Uh, He's a I, know, I, I know what you're saying, though, Patrick, because what you're saying is there are a lot of things going on lately <laughs> where, uh, you know, uh, people uh, people are doing something, and then if they had done it a year ago, they would have called them on it. Well, yeah, you know. I mean, it's like when Steve Bannon all of a sudden had all this fucking credibility two weeks ago. And the day before that book came out, he was an asshole to everybody on the left. And the day the book came out, he was fucking Jesus. I you don't know. know. And, now, I, and now with this, with Trump being overweight, the other thing that I, I did needle a few people on Facebook is let's say that he is lying about his weight. Is everybody honest about their weight on their fucking driver's license? Well, my, actually, my driver, my my driver's <laughs> license uh, is, is out of date that way. Does does it have weight on our our driver's license? It has height. I it has think, height, but I, I don't, don't think Jersey has weight either. I don't think they have weight. Yeah. Hey, Charlene, how do you feel about Fatso leaving the office? Oh God! It must be. But now now we've got this Irish guy Murphy. Yeah. And he's going to raise the taxes. See, she did it. She does. She's a fat <laughs> shame. This matter. one hates. He was fatso. a fat fuck, right? Charlie, oh, right? He had, he had your bypass and was still fat. Right. How did that happen? Yeah, because he's still, he's still shoving it down. Well, it's like yep. Bubbles' old joke about, gee, he does nothing but coke. How come he's so fat? Is he, what's, he, what's he cutting his, uh, his coke with? Butter? Butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's disgusting. He and then he, he's going to end up doing something entertaining in New Jersey. Hey, I'm, I, I'm worried a little bit about Phil Meyer tonight because tonight he's supposed to be back in the Bay Area and he's not calling. Did the plane crash? Did anybody ever plane Maybe crash? He's having a nice night out. Oh, he had a so nice day. Did you hear? He died in a car crash upstate. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I, used to, yeah, that was, I, I used to do that all the time. When people would call me and say, you know, like I'd have some competitor was on radio and then he was no longer on radio because, well, he couldn't compete against me. And then they say, whatever happened to him? And I say, oh, he died in a car crash upstate. That was always my answer. <laughs> uh, 
And I had actually one person almost sue me over that. <laughs> I'm not dead. People, people were calling me up and saying, did you hear me? Alex Bennett said you were dead. Dead to him. Yeah, dead to me. Yeah. And with that, I'm going to say good night, folks. Are you going to say good night? Yes, I am. Oh, well, there go our numbers. You want your kiss? Hmm? <laughs> See you guys. Does that, did that look sincere? Wow. Oh, wait a minute, everybody. Did that look sincere? <laughs> here. That was an here, insincere here, here, kiss. Here. Mm. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll even grab some tit. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> boy, that'll, that'll really make our numbers go up. People love, love nothing more than watching two people in their late 70s having, uh, having uh, a romantic I'm moment. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> actually, if she were topless, you'd think she had, like, fake tits because they're so firm at her age. Really, I'm serious. When I first saw them, I went, are those implants? And she said no, and they weren't, you know. So, anyway, Kevin's joined us. We haven't heard from Kevin this week yet, so here he is. Hello, Kevin. Can you hear us, Kevin? Can you hear us, Kevin? Kevin, can you hear us? Tommy, can you hear us? No, uh, anyway. Uh, I don't know. He's, uh, he's trying to figure out why he isn't getting any sound, I think. But, um, but um, there he goes. Yeah. Oh, there you go. And now we can hear you. Kevin, are you there? He ta uh, turn up your mic. You have to turn your mic up. Turn up your volume. Yeah. I, there's some problem there. Uh, you know, I think he's being drowned out by Mike's breathing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you can hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Am I there now? Yeah, yeah. Oh. You're, you're fine. You're terrific. Uh, oh, so, uh, Rob, before we go on with uh, going after Trump again, uh, did you... Um, um, did you ever figure out what, why, why your Skype is doing that, or is it still doing that? No, it's still the same new version. It's of funny Skype. because I, you know, I turned mine off, <coughs> rebooted the machine. Um, Usually, that would make it say, "Okay, here we're upgrading you. You want to be upgraded?" And I, I, I don't have my automatic upgrade turned on or anything. But I didn't get any messages like that. The only one I got was the one I get about every tenth time saying. Do you want to try the new Windows 10? Yeah, I've gotten thing? that message. Yeah. Too, but I tried it once and I hated it. Yeah. And I, I went back to the other one. And then this time, like I told you, I launched the icon and it uninstalled and reinstalled mm -hmm. something. And in fact, when I got off last night, when the show was <sighs> over, I uh, took a look and there was another update. I figured, all right, maybe this will fix some of the, 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 the you know, the bugs in, uh, really in this strange. new version. And you're using Windows, right? Yeah, and I upgraded how about, it. How about you, Jay? Uh, oh, uh, pa Patrick. Yeah, well, you're using a Mac. Yeah, and I, and I have the exact same thing as what I was listening last night and what Rob's talking about. With I've got the four squares, and then I've got the circle. The circles. Bit, and I can drag somebody from the top in the circle down into a square. And that was what an update weeks ago on the back end. Oh. Uh, well, you know something? I mean, it, it, fucked up because there were no tools anywhere. You couldn't, I mean, it would just, in fact, I had, I had to come on your show like three or four times because it kept fucking up on me. Just like what Rob was Well, doing. wait a minute. Now, let me, let me ask you. Uh, did anybody go online to see what these problems are or if anybody else has the same situation? Huh. I didn't know you could drag the circle. Oh, do you have the circles too? Yeah, I, I got the update a while ago. Remember when I called in as Sabrina? Yeah. That's because oh. I had to create a new account and uh, because of the Skype updated. And I've, I've been sitting here like I'd click on something. I wanted to see something. I'm clicking on the circle and it's not doing nothing. And I realized you had to click and drag it. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, so. it's a new version is out. Well, how come, how come my, I don't have it? That's what I don't get. It's a good question. You know, you got I, your updates turned off, right? Well, I have the updates turned off, but it'll still ask you, hey, there's a new version. Would you like to update? And I haven't gotten any of those either. 
So who yeah, knows? that's what happened to me last month, I think. And it it went. I turned it on. It, all those circles were popping up. And well, how did do? Did you get rid of them at all? No, I I don't know how to do that crap. <laughs> oh, so you've got a bunch of circles there. Yeah, so I I get four squares and I can drag whoever I want into whatever on the screen and then the, all the other circles sit up there. Well, so. when it happens to me, it's going to be a lot more work for me doing this show. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <No>. You'll quit. <laughs> yeah. But people are moving in those circles, right? Yeah. yeah. And are they yeah. fairly large circles or are they tiny it's, little? No, they're about the size of a quarter. Yeah. Like right now, I have my four squares. You're in my top uh, right corner and the other one, two, three, four, five, or there's four and me are mm -hmm. in your square wow yes so uh, Sh charlene so in other words everyone will be instead of in a box in a circle with this new version you get four squares and then the rest are in circles yeah oh like the other uh, well uh, Ver vernon what what what, what are you using windows or mac oh we can't hear you you don't have your mic on Audio, audio. I had to come in on my iPhone because mm. I had a lot of trouble. I didn't log off. Hold on, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> yeah, oh, bless you. It. Salute. Mm. Yeah, I sneezed but, uh, and I left her well, mic on. My computer's you know, on. It's stupid. But I'm on the phone, but I'll stay on here so I don't have to. How many do we have anyway? What? We have, uh, we have uh, with me, we have uh, nine people. Oh, okay. And Phil's yeah. not there to flush or anything, right? Yeah. No. One more would make it, I think, would make it a full house. And then one mm -hmm. more than that is a royal flush. Mm. Yeah. No. But, uh, uh, yeah, I can't I can't figure this out. How come I'm – well, you can all see if you watch me on, on, on uh, GabNet Live, you can see that I'm – you know, I have what is essentially the old system, but it has never asked me – oh, oops, oops. Uh-oh. Ooh. Vernon, you're now you're making them now noise. he's live. Now he's live. Yeah. Or hot. Um, I had to change microphones. Oh, yeah. What what uh, what 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 uh, version of are you using Mac or are you using a uh, Windows? No, I've got Windows Seven. Uh huh. And oh, really? And how does and how does Skype look on your on your Windows? Uh, do you get those circles? Those circles, people in circles? No. 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 I'm at I'm at the bottom, and all the rest of you are in squares up yeah, at the top. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that's the old one. Well, it's, I don't know if it's the old one. I think there's something you can click on to change that orientation. I could not figure it out. Yeah, I've, I've looked and looked and looked. There is no place. Yes. No customization of the, of the, uh, of the screen at all. There, there is. Like, if you, like uh, Patrick was saying, if you click on a circle and drag it down, you can switch who is there. And then I just saw if you click on a square that's on your screen and drag it up to the top, you can get rid of that square. So right now I have three squares. I have like Alex Bennett on one, and then I have two other ones. Yeah. But you can yeah. make it more than the four. No. I cannot make it more well, than the, the four. The, I can make I, it less than the what four. What I could do is people who are kind of don't aren't participating at the moment, I can just put in the circles, and then the people who are over-talking. Yeah, it, it's going to be yeah. a lot of work. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> God, I, I want less work, not more. But anyway, so far, uh, nothing has changed here, and it has not asked me, do I want to, because you know, if you don't ask, if you don't have it automatically update your machine, it asks you if you want to. So anyway, yes, Mike. Alex, Alex yes, I'm, I'm, I'm with, uh, okay. I'm with Vern. I got Windows 7. I can see everybody, you know, no problems. Hmm. No yeah, problem. I've, I've got eight squares at the top, and then I've got yep. myself at the bottom. Yep, I'm the on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it works perfect. That's Just exactly. another shithole program. And you've got now, Windows. Now, now, if I click on one of you guys, then it fills the whole yes, screen. Right, and everybody right. else goes across the bottom. Right. That's what happens right. if I do. If I do that here, let's say I take, uh, oh, I take, uh, uh, let's take Jason, and I double click on him. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. There we go. I get him full screen, and then all the people along at the bottom there. See. But uh, you know, if th then Facebook, if I want to bring Patrick in, I want to bring Jeff in, then I want to bring in Mike and Charlene and Rob, and uh, uh, here's Kevin, and there's Vernon, and then I make myself smaller, and we're back to the way it was. So that's, and that's how it that's what it works. does on Facebook. You got Jason in a big square there, and then they got 
And then mm -hmm. when you set it all back up, it's eight squares, and you're down in the bottom corner on Facebook. Yeah. Well, I, I get it. As, and so you don't have anything like tools or anything like that is what you tended to say last yeah, it's night. Yeah, tools. There ain't nothing you can do with them. <laughs> yeah, they're not, there's nothing here that's uh, in any way customizable. Export chat history, that's about it. Which is <laughs> ridiculous because these are such big pictures. The four, I mean, yeah. I Good sized monitor in these really big squares with a lot of empty space around everybody. Yeah. Right? right? It's high and, def. Width. And even if you stretch it out, or, yeah, you can't do nothing with them. Nice if you could put the rest of those people in those little quarter sized circles. Yeah. You can split screen. those screens, each one but of those screens, and still have plenty of room. They probably did that for bandwidth purposes. I don't know. I have Damn no idea. net neutrality. Uh, yes, yeah. yes, Charlene. It's all their fault. Yes, Charlene. No, all, I was going to say, Alex, all I know is it's been asking me. I'm not clicking on it to update it, right? I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, don't, yeah, leave it alone. Well, do you, But you have the circles, though, right? I didn't have a choice. So you just so you know, <laughs> yeah. well, my machine rebooted because, uh -huh. uh, you know, I'd been out of the studio for about a week. Yeah. I logged in. It was time to go on GabNet. I double clicked on the Skype logo, and the the action just began. It uninstalled, yes. and I was like, "What the hell is going on here?" Then it reinstalled. I said, "Okay, launch Skype and everything." And you know, the other thing you can't do anymore is you have to put in your username. Uh, there's no more way to to at least I haven't found a way to. Uh, you got to put in your username anymore. No longer does it is is it left there. Now that I did, that, oh, I that works for me. That. I don't have to log in every time. There really? is, oh, well, there yeah. is yeah. under under yeah. tools. But there. you're right; it did automatically do it that one time. I rebooted, and all of a sudden, when I went into Skype to get onto Gabnet, yeah, all of a sudden it was all different. And that sucks. They don't give you the opportunity. You don't know what's happening. Yeah, you can't kill it. You know, it'd be luckily, nice when you, when I first did mine. My I had came up blank i had to put in my name and password and i didn't remember my name you know and that's why i had to create a new account but i had luckily i went over to my ipad and i had my name and then the next you know next time i ended up saying i forgot my password and then redid it through my ipad and then came back in here and then put my my credentials in is there any way for you to find out what the number is on your on your version and that's the thing it doesn't even there's no help about like to look at the version number. I didn't find it last night. It says 8.12.0.14. Yeah. Calling version is 2017.24.1.66. Oh, now it's a downloading update. Yeah, I got now the update it's, it's saying downloading update right now. What the yeah. frig is that? There's an update. I got it last night. I've got a different oh, great. version. Well, Mac Oops. is going to be different. Yeah, it, but I mean, it, it, it's it's just it's weird because now there's there's thirty Skype different Windows things you can look at. Packed full of features right. to help oh, you share. Sure. Sure. Hold, hold on a second. Let's take a quick folks. tour to help you find your way around. Yeah, wait, hold on a second. Let me let me yep. get rid of that. Okay, I got to go back to my main thing. I pushed some. Probably why I got a shitty connection too. It's downloading yeah. an update at the same time. Oh, oh really? Why, yeah. Why? I'm probably getting. You know something. Too. You know. You know what's terrible. I think about these people. And let's talk about this from the standpoint of of, of the kind of service you get today. And Microsoft <laughs> is one of the worst. I mean, even if you have like their office, you know, it takes all kinds of things to get to find out where your account is and how to find out your account. Anyway. Skype has all our email addresses, right? That's one of the things we have to put in there. Why don't they send out a mass emailing saying, here are the changes to Skype? Right. Here Let is you what know. you can do to do this. This is where you can find your toolbar. You know, why don't they do that? What it wouldn't take they make up one thing and then they send it to everybody. Right? See now now it says a new update is available. Skype will automatically restart after you update. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what happened That's to me weird. last night. That's what happened to me last night. After well, see, I'd never seen that. When did, they did this other update, I didn't even see that. And both of you have all, had automatic updates turned off. I don't yeah. know, quite oh. frankly. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's true. I don't know either. You know what you but could do? You know what off. you could do? You can go online and find places <laughs> that will allow you to go back 
and use a previous version of Skype. Uh -huh. Uh, I, I did that for the longest time because I didn't want to go to the newer versions. And then they said, well, anything before this time, we're not going to, we're not going to, uh, honor. Okay. But if you go back and go back several versions, you can go online, just say previous versions of Skype, and it'll take you to a place where you can download them and load that in. You might not have this problem anymore. It's just a matter of time. It's just might as well just acquiesce. Yeah, eventually it's going to. Well, I might have to go out of business, you know. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. Well, I mean, it hasn't happened to me yet, but it will. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah they're going to retire the older versions. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that was, that was what they did. Uh, I was using one version and staying with it. And the only thing annoying about it was every time I would sign on, it would say, there's a newer version of Skype. Do you want it right now? And I go, no. So, yeah. I mean, so that they pester the living daylights out of you. Mm -hmm. um, there's a term for that in Yiddish called hocking me a chinik. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they just keep hocking you a chinik on, on all the stuff. So, I mean, now here's the latest thing, by the way. This just came out. Did you, uh, how many here have Amazon Prime? I Would you all raise your hands? Okay, that's a, that's a goodly amount of people here. Um, uh, do you pay by, who, how many here pay monthly? You Daniel. okay? Well, you're gonna <laughs> you're 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 gonna be paying more then. No, I'm mistaken. I, I I paid it one time for the year. For the year, okay. If you pay it for the year, it's not changing. If you pay it monthly, it's going from like ten dollars to twelve dollars. Yeah, I think I just saw that they yeah. they shot that at me, right? Now I don't know why they're doing that, except that maybe they're just trying to force people to buy a year rather than to just yeah. buy. Monthly. Make money holding your money when they get it once, as opposed to the serious. Month. Serious so. used to do that. If you signed up for life, it was like cheap, and then if you signed up for the whole year, it was cheaper than doing it monthly and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, and and life does that mean that if if you die, uh, they cancel your subscription? Right, right. I know. It's only expensive. for the life of the hardware. Well, I, I, I when it first. Uh, when it, when it went on nine years ago with Howard Stern and all that, mm -hmm. I remember somebody told me how much the life thing was. 400? It, it was 400? I uh, think so. Well, yeah. for me, that was like 4,000. I was like, uh oh, I can't take the whole life. Well, I apparently have a lifetime subscription, but I forgot my password and my name. <laughs> uh, but the, the thing was, on machines where I already have it in there, I'm still getting service. And most right. people, when you got when you left Sirius, I don't know if this happened to you, Rob, but when you left Sirius, by the time you got to the uh, ground floor, you weren't getting it on your radio anymore. No, that didn't happen to me. I I um, I had Sirius for probably three years after I left, and then all of a sudden one day, it was gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> but mine's still gone. I know that when when uh, when we left Albert. Uh, by the time he got to the uh, to the main floor, he had no signal anymore. You know, they'd cut him out. So I, you guys were employees. I was a contractor. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was an employee. Yeah, I yeah, made a good Alex. investment. Oh, huh? Sorry. I made a I made a good investment on a life membership uh, with the amateur radio relay league yeah. when I was in college. At that time annual dues were six dollars a year and to get a life membership you had to pay for 20 years worth of dues so i paid 120 dollars for life membership yeah and now the annual dues are 35 dollars a year wow well i uh, uh um i um what was it i oh today or, yeah it was today i was talking to GoDaddy because for some reason the site was down it wasn't our my fault it was their fault uh and but anyway I, I, I checked it out and it was um, uh, I they said to me I said my you know my renewal is coming up and it's my renewal for with uh, uh, ICANN which is the renewal for the name gabnet.net and, and making it a domain that in other words registering the domain name right and he said to me he said uh, he said so you want me to renew you right now for that year and I said yeah you could do that but can I renew for more than that and he says oh yeah we, he says, I can give you nine years. And I thought about it for a second, and I went, let me see. How old will I be in nine years? Will there be a gap net? 
So I, I renewed for three years. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't, I didn't want to, you know, and it wasn't for any cheap That's reason. That's strategy. <laughs> you know, it only cost me like $54 to go for three years. So I guess it would have cost me maybe 150 or something to go for nine. But I'm, I, I don't know that, uh, you know, that I'm going to be around or Gabnet's going to be around or whatever. So, uh, so I, I, re, I re-upped it for three years, so. The, the domain will be in existence for the next three years. Of course, then, you know, by then Skype will have totally screwed me. And uh, I wish we could find another way to do this besides Skype. I wish somebody would come up with a new system. It's like nobody, nobody wants to compete with Skype with any meaningful thing. You know? See, I think there are things out there. It's just, you know, Skype is so easy to more. get. Well, it's not even cost anymore. It's, it's Skype is so easy to get, and people have it. They know it. And this other stuff is like, dude, you want me to do what? To do what? Well, yeah, but, you know, I, I, I went looking for other ones, okay? I went looking for other ones, and I couldn't find anything that was as f- people-friendly as Skype is. Right. Okay. Uh, and why somebody doesn't just come up with something, you know, to compete with them? Because we all know it's a shitty system that we have nothing but problems with it, you know. And uh, uh, there, there, there is a, YouTube has a thing called, uh, or Google has a thing called Google Groups, <coughs> you know. But it, it, the, it, it, what I remember about it when I tried it was the picture looked great, but the sound sucked. And you know, since I'm basically doing an audio show, really here, this is an audio show that became a video thing once Facebook Live uh, allowed us to do it. Uh, but it's an audio show, so I care that the audio is is better than the video. Uh, but uh, so I, I just, you know, if anybody knows of something better than Skype that would be just as simple for these people to call in on, mm-hmm. I would sure love to know about it. Yeah, there's nothing. Skype is, you know, it's it's the you know the hundred pound gorilla. There's yeah, the people don't invent another one, you know. Well, they should. Um, let me let me um, uh, bring up this little thing about this is the thing maybe you didn't see about Donald Trump. Uh, he is breaking with tradition on Super Bowl night. Now, what is the tradition of the president on Super Bowl night? To keep his mouth shut. Does he make a bet with uh, another? No, no, no. Those are governors that do that. What he did, what, what Obama did for all of his eight years, and I think Bush did it on several Super Bowls before that, is they would do an interview, a little fifteen-minute interview oh, with the yeah. president. You remember that? Before the yeah, Super Bowl, because Obama yeah. did it with uh, Fox News the last time. Yeah, right? well, uh, he uh, he did it f- eight times during his presidency, uh, and. Um, NBC, uh, but he, but they've they've invited Donald Trump to do it, uh, and Donald Trump has told NBC, uh, which is televising the game, that he won't be taking part this year. Yeah, because Obama used to do it, so he has to say no, right? I Something guess like you know it's that hatred for Obama. Uh, yeah, and oh, NBC really? has taken the high road, awesome. extending to. Open- He's not going to talk to those little sons of bitches. <laughs> well, NBC has taken the high road, extending an open invitation to Trump. In case uh, the uh, uh, he changes his mind, a network source uh, told uh, this reporter, uh, the story reports adding, it's unclear why Trump has turned down the invitation for what has become a pregame tradition. Yes, Patrick. I think it's, it's as simple as NBC is tied in with MSNBC. And that's the beginning and the end of it. Well, wait a minute. Who has who has the Super Bowl this year? Is it NBC? Yeah, it is. It would have to be NBC if they're the one if they're the one doing the interview because otherwise nobody would see it during the game. He hates NBC, and he also has been in cahoots with uh, pissing all over the NFL for kneeling and all that. You're, other you're shit. right about that. You're right about. And that. he also talked about you know how he should uh, how he should fire the sons of bitches that are kneeling. Yeah, but now you're saying wait a minute. Uh, the first of Trump's administration in which he was, uh, let's see here, um, Deadline speculates that it's possible Trump doesn't want a repeat of last year's interview, 
the first of Trump's administration. Oh, he did it last year, in which he was interviewed on Fox by his friend and Fox News Channel uh, star Bill O'Reilly. That interview clocked in 12.2 million viewers, significantly fewer than Obama's interviews. <laughs> uh, that's right there. That'll tell you. That's it. That's the reason. He doesn't want he doesn't want to feel bad about himself. Yes, Charlene. You know, didn't he attend a football game Trump recently and everybody was wondering if they were going to, you know, take the knee and then it was they the college do game. It or something. So what it happened? Was, Did they take the knee? It was the college well, game. That's I the think, one where it? he tried to sing the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, I've got to see that. I haven't seen and, that yet. And you just know he doesn't know the words. I mean, mm -hmm. But he, he didn't leave. He stayed, you know, because they didn't take the knee or no, what happened? I have, uh, he no, it had nothing. I don't think it had anything to do with that. He just yeah. showed up. Yes. Uh, Jeff. I would think that uh, since Trump is, uh, is not going to take it, take this job for this, uh, what is it, for for 20 minutes or 10 minutes or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe Obama could do it. He yeah, has no problems. With <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he would drive have Trump crazy. <laughs> yeah, they should say, well, but, you don't want to do it. We're going to have Obama do it. So that, what have you been doing for the last year? <laughs> did anybody see the interview with Obama by David Letterman? Oh, yes. can I ask you something no. real fast, Alex? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, 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 well, well, quickly, what is it, Charlene? Did Shecky, does he work for... No, uh, no. Him doing this now? Or? No, no. Okay, no. that was it. Okay. No, he's not using any of his old people, really. Okay. Yes, well, what were you going to say, Rob? About uh, you, oh. you, you said you saw the Letterman interview. What did you yeah. think? Watched it. Um, I, I actually thought it was. I, I actually didn't. I got bored during it. What? what Me too, what, Rob. What bored you about it? Uh, you know, I, I it was so to me. It was not memorable. I don't even really remember it. You know, I remember I, I heard him on Howard Stern talking about how much he loved the comedians and cars getting coffee show. I'm talking about Letterman. Mm -hmm. Letterman loves that show. He thinks it's one of the greatest things. And so, I and when he was talking about doing this show, I was like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be watching for it. I'm really looking forward to this. Mm -hmm. I just was nonplussed by it. I just didn't, there, wasn't uh, there is a problem with the, there's a problem with the show, and let me explain the problem. I got in fact, Shecky told this to me. I didn't know this uh, this was true. That interview with Obama was shot last October. Oh, okay. Oh, so you couldn't do any current events. You couldn't talk about things that were currently going on. Which has a positive value in that you're then stuck with maybe trying to find out a little more about Obama the person and what's he doing now that he's no longer president and so on. But the negatives are is that so much has happened with Trump that there should have been some hint, you know, that there was an awareness that Trump was doing a shitty job or doing something. And and that and some, most of the other interviews they well they, they I think they did Howard Stern last week or something they they recorded it, but they've recorded started recording these back in October and Obama was like the first one they did so that's the problem with the interviews I kind of liked it only because I think Obama is a kind, really interesting decent guy yeah you know I mean it was but so seen up interviews with him that it, there was nothing new there and it was i don't know i just i i, I was looking forward to liking it, it, it <laughs> i was yeah. disappointed well i was I, I still feel that i like i did enjoy the amiability ability of uh, of trump of, of barack obama uh even i mean uh, we have uh, patrick there and I'm sure Patrick probably would agree with me when I say, you know, he's an okay guy, isn't he, Patrick? I mean, you're a Republican, but he's an okay guy. I I think I would be able to sit across from any number of former presidents, whether yeah. I agreed with them politically or not, mm -hmm. and good conversation. I mean, if if Obama showed up at my doorstep for mm -hmm. whatever reason, I I'd invite him in. What the fuck? Right. Except that, you know. Right. Let me just Sorry. accept somebody here. Yeah. Uh, let me go back here. Where were we? Where's, where's the group? Uh, is, there's the group. Okay. I had to just uh, uh, 
accept somebody's friendship. Uh, Vernon, yes, Vernon and then Charlene. Did anybody see that uh, Forbes article where they were talking about Trump's first year was worse than Obama's last year? On trade deficit, it was worse. On jobs added, it was worse. On hourly wage increases, it was worse. On federal deficit, it was worse. And on the S&P index increase, it was worse during Trump's first year versus Obama's last year. Oh, see, those are the statistics they never put out there. They say, oh, here's the, here's the GNP, here's the this, here's the that, but they never do any real comparison. Uh, this is a new uh, person, uh, and let me, let me bring him to the, to the show here. Uh, John Perulis. John, per is that, am I pronouncing it correctly, John? Yeah, hi, can you hear me? Yeah, John Perulis. Hello, John. Where are you calling hi. from? San Rafael, California. Oh, oh really? <laughs> You're uh, about uh, one miracle mile away from my old hometown of San Anselmo. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Y you know who's a neighbor of mine? Uh, Michael Pritchard. He oh, lives, yeah. uh, in fact, uh, I could hear his operatic singing. Uh, you know, during the Fourth of July, it kind of booms over the whole neighborhood here. Oh, oh really? Here. Uh, well, he he does take a has a rather large presence anywhere he is. You know, so uh, yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I pat. You can see all these people here. Patrick's got his hand up. Anytime you want to talk, yeah. uh, just uh, raise your hand. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, right. John. Uh, let, uh, yeah. Patrick. I, I think Charlene was right after Vernon. Oh, okay, Charlene. Oh. Well, you kind of changed the topic a little bit. Now, all I was going to say, cut and dry, is that a lot of my friends, you know, were putting all this, you got to see the Letterman Obama thing. Oh, you know, so I said, oh, I, I, I got to see it. I mean, I thought it was good. I liked it. But I don't think it was earth shattering or anything. No, it wasn't earth shattering. Something. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think it could be because it, it had to be evergreen. It couldn't be timely. You explained yeah. it. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was it. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Patrick. As far as the, uh, what was that, Forbes magazine that put out those uh, yeah. things? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alex, isn't that up to the media to put that out from Forbes? I mean, I wouldn't expect anybody well, who's in cahoots with the Trump administration, but I would expect CNN, NBC, ABC, all of them to put them out. Well, Vernon, Vernon got it from somewhere, and it must have been some article somewhere, right? Or did you actually read the Forbes article? No, I saw it on a TV show. Uh, well, I don't remember where. Yeah. So okay, I mean, well, but, then but it is getting out. I mean, but the, <laughs> that, that's an interesting statistic because he would like you to believe, oh, things are better under under Trump, and they're actually not better under Trump. That we were making faster, bigger advances uh, during the last year of Obama. So you know, uh, but then well, again, I mean, I like like the S and P index did go up. But it went up like, <clears throat> I think he said 19% during Trump's first year. But Obama's last year, it went up 22%. Yeah. So if things were going up anyways, what you're saying. And maybe he right. may have even stifled it a little bit. I, and the uh, negative side of it was yeah. the trade deficit. The trade deficit well, got worse under Trump's well, first year. I, I, I watched a speech yesterday. I mentioned this yesterday with, with Trump in which he was talking about uh, giving a uh, his big speech about all the wonderful things that have happened and how much wonderful stuff is happening. Oh. And then he said, and Apple today announced that they're going to bring 300, they're going to spend $350 billion in America. And I went, wow, gee, for like a hundred and by my reckoning, by $150 billion, they could give everybody in America, every family in America, a free iPhone X. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> So I'm, I'm figuring $350 billion, wow, I really hate Apple now. I'm never going to buy anything from Apple because all they're doing is giving credibility to Trump. And then I went and looked it up. It turned out Trump was lying. What he, shocking. Shocker. That's shocking. That no, lies. but I mean lying big time. What they said was, what Apple said was, they were bringing, because they can do it now without paying a penalty, they were bringing $350 billion back and putting it, in, it, it, bringing it back to the United States, and ostensibly putting it in banks somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but he, they didn't say they were going to invest three hundred and fifty billion in America, mm -hmm. and that's what he implied, and and that's what what I find so terrible about the man, you know? Yeah. Is, uh, yes, Jeff. I think he also said 
that there was 500 jobs were going in a new facility. Well, uh, those people, those, those are not new people. There are people who moved like this side of the street to the other side of the street. Well, no, actually, it's two thousand people. They're gonna they're gonna install in a new campus down in the in Silicon Valley. Right. But those are not yeah. new new people. It's essentially a call center. They say a, a call center. Wow, that's they're talking. Well, those about, are yeah. high paying jobs. Uh, yeah. John, where do you stand politically, John? Because you're new to the panel, so we have no idea. Uh, last time I was on your show, uh, it, it was a tech show you were doing out of here for CNET for or something. CNET. Oh, I forgot. You, did you call the show or you guessed it? Yeah, it was yeah. a call-in show. Yeah. I, I'm a live streamer. Uh, I do sometimes work for radio station KPFA, which is in tremendous right. disarray now if you uh, are yeah. following that. I haven't followed it lately, but... Uh, yeah, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm not an anarchist, but I have uh, leanings probably against both major parties. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, I think it's pretty much uh, the same thing, uh, maybe uh, different flavors of the ice cream cone. And it's, it's, they're both rotten to the core. Uh, so. it's, it's still shitty ice cream. It's shitty ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I, you know, I think like right now I just got a couple of headlines that came in and I didn't even look at them. But hell, we're getting we're about uh, 40 minutes away from the closing down of the government. The Senate has cast enough votes to block a bill to fund the government. Yeah, I was waiting for a furious spot to pull that one in. Uh, furious talks continue ahead of the midnight deadline to avoid a shutdown. Wouldn't it be this funny? This was over DACA, right? This is well. It's uh, DACA is the is is main crux of it because they feel that they don't want to do anything unless first of all they take care of this DACA thing, and yeah. um, it, it, that's it, just a political football. Well, sport. It, you know, they, you, they you, have what, they have commercials going on and uh, over here about it saying how you let one amnesty person come in and then all their cousins can come in and all their grandparents can come yeah, in. Yeah, it's called and America. Like a thousand it's, people it, coming in from it, that one person. It, but yet today there was one guy who he was a uh, he was brought into this country when he was five years old, yeah. and now he's thirty years old from Mexico. Yeah. He has kids and he's married and he's being shipped back to Mexico when he was five years old when he came to this country. Oh, there are kids. There are kids that are trying to ship back. Who never were, committed were, a crime. Never, that, never, never it had a sentient moment in that other country. You know, they came here when they were like six months old. They learned how to speak perfect English. They made all their friends here. They built their lives here. And now they're going to be sent back to a country they don't they even know. And they have to go over there. They're not from Mexico. So where are they going to go, right? Yeah. You know, you know my, well, my minute, thing, John, because John, I am yeah. half Mexican, this country, what we call the borders of this country was brown before the Europeans came in, yeah. and now they want to kick all the brown people out again. Yeah. Well, yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say to you, Jason, half of you is going to have to move back to Mexico. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll <laughs> cut uh, myself in half. Yeah, uh, uh, hey, John? Uh, you know, people are freaked out here in Northern California because uh, Trump has, well, the uh, ICE has threatened massive raids. And here in San Rafael, we have the Canal District, Yes. which is chock full of uh, Salvadorans, Guatemalans, Mexicans. Uh, and these people are calling uh, the local radio stations and uh, expressing fears, you know, like, what are they going to do? And, well, in uh, fact, I in think they're going to try it. In fact, am I am I right about that? I think is it Oakland that has said they will not allow ICE to do anything in Oakland? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. mayor said that she would go to jail and so did the sitting uh, San Francisco mayor said they'd go to jail. Yeah. So they they're stifling ice. Yeah. Good for them. Mm. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, it'd be well, interesting if uh, the unions got behind this. You know, if they yeah. uh Taft Hartley laws prevent them from doing the general strike and if they try to do a general strike, all the union leadership gets uh arrested. But you know, at some point in time they have to say, fuck it, and yeah. uh, we're going to pull a general strike, even if it was a one or two day wildcat strike. The ILWU, Local 10, is still strong here. 
you know, uh, they do actions like this from time to time. But I have a good uh, idea for California. Why don't they just secede yeah. from the union? <laughs> well, yeah, you, yeah, that's kind of you know, like the state. What, what's that movie? Uh, the Free State of Jones or yeah. something? Well, I mean, or, it would it would probably you know? still be able to make a nice living and not have any problems. You just have to have a passport to get there. Uh, yes, yeah, Charlene had her hand up. Yes. Well, I was just going to say, first I had first my hand up before because Chuck Schumer. Wait, there's something, is wrong with, there's something wrong with you. You're slapping back. Hold on a second. Uh, okay, go ahead, Charlene. No, no, Chuck Schumer is trying to make a deal about DACA, and that's what this whole shutdown is about. Sort yeah, well, of. I, I, something oh. bothers me a little bit about this is what does DACA have to do with funding the country? Right. It, you know, right. Uh, because when you're sending people out of the country who've lived here their whole lives, that's just, you know, it, the U.S. has just become such asshole country. Well, right now. No, I yeah. look, I agree that yeah. DACA should be reinstituted. In fact, I think anybody who's lived here for a certain amount of time should be allowed to stay here. But uh, but what does that have to do with paying the bills? You know, like I would love it if like midnight comes and all the lights go out in the United States, you know, <laughs> like we're. <laughs> It seems that they just don't trust the Republicans to make a deal on DACA, so they want to do it right now while the stakes are afraid he's going to do something crazy, like make this DACA go through. Yeah, but how? let me ask you a question. In the eyes of the American public, who you got to remember, the American public at large are rather agnostic when it comes to parties. Some, you know, oh, they may say they're Republican or they're Democrat, but they, they vote for who they want to vote for when it's time to vote. How are the Democrats going to be perceived if the if the nation closes down? Won't they, they're going to be blamed for it? The Democrats. I don't necessarily think so because who has the control? Who has the majority in the House, the Congress, the presidency, and even the, uh, the friggin' judicial department, the Supreme yeah. Court? Republicans have control of everything. If right. they can't come up with an agreement when they're in power. You know, fuck them. You know, how are you being a leader if you can't, you know, come up with an agreement on something? And, and especially as simple as somebody, you know, allowing people who have already lived here for 30 fucking years to stay and maybe, you know, maybe have to pay some type of penalty or something. But, you know, you're not changing nothing. You're not rewriting your, you know, you're not reshaping the wheel or look, something like look, that. Wait, I, think, I think most reasonable people believe that DACA is a good thing. Um, which I had to look up. 77%. I, I, how many? 77% on a recent poll. Yeah. Want, the, I, want to have the dreamers protected. Yeah. Now, the uh, question is, I looked this up the other day, and then I promptly forgot it. I wanted to look up and see, what does DACA mean exactly? Uh, Deferred action on child, uh, child something. Childhood uh, 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 aliens or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. 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 Um, but if the uh, government actually does shut down, this will be the first time in history that it shut down when one party ran the entire government. Never happened before. Wow. Yeah. But the Republicans want to blame the Democrats? Oh, huh. they're going to. I mean, Trump's going to say, yeah, it's the Democrats that closed the government, the government down. Now they, that you can't go to the Washington Monument because of the fucking Democrats, right? Yes. In okay. other words, in other words, the Democrats are not agreeing with what the Republicans want to do to screw us. So therefore, it's their fault. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, uh, yes, uh, Charlene. So, all right. If, if it shuts down and everything, right, we're going to blame, you know, the, the blame's going to go to the Democrats. But what's going to happen? Like, what, how do they unshut it down? Because I forget all this. Like, you know, I never pay attention. They pass a continuing resolution. Just pay. Uh -huh. What is it's that? And yeah, continuing resolution basically says the government will continue to run at the current funding levels for X amount of days or weeks. Oh, they or just months. aren't going to give them the budget that he wanted or something, right? Correct. Something like that. Exactly. Right. right. I mean, whatever budget he wants is a different thing, but they can continue to fund it at the same level until you figure mm -hmm. out, you know, what you're going to do. Now, how much is it going to cost for this? To, if he's going to deport all these people, how much <laughs> is this going to cost? <laughs> like, isn't it going to cost a lot of money? to deport all these people that he thinks he's deporting? Patrick, I don't think less than it would to keep them here because they're all on welfare. Yeah. Right, and the right. Mexicans will pay for it anyway, so yeah. don't worry about right. it. Wait a minute, Patrick had his, it was nodding his head. Did you have something to say, Patrick? Nobody's getting deported. I right. mean, he didn't even change his 
gap about that. There's wait, no wait, did you just say nobody's getting deported? Right. I just watched one get deported the other night on TV. I was just to say, did you not hear my story when I came in here about this guy who came over here when he was five years old from Mexico? He just got deported today. Mm-hmm. That was in when your he town, was married and has kids. Yeah. Isn't I that in your town, Jason? In, I hear there's camps in Pennsylvania. Sorry, wait, wait. What did Patrick say? Oh, sorry. What Charlene was implying was we're going to round all of them up and send them back. That's not going to happen. They're doing that right now. There, there's a whole bunch of like Iraqi happen. citizens, too, who are oh. sitting there in internment camps. Who are going to be? They're they're Christian Iraqis who came over here because they're Christians, and they're going to send them back to Iraq, and they're trying to get them to at least be able to get bail while they're sitting there having their court cases heard. But no, they're they're sitting in friggin' prison. But this is because. But th- this is all part of it. This is all the same game that they're doing with everybody. It's ridiculous how how hateful this country is becoming right now. Well, I mean, this is absolute hatred. I mean, it, it's it, it and it's cruel. Yeah. It's cruel. I mean, there are uh, entire yeah. the populations of people who are worried that they're not going to be here past March. Yeah. Right. Okay? But, but what we're discussing here is DACA, and that's what's holding up this vote and what may shut the government down. It has nothing to do with any of the other immigration policies. Yeah, it that's correct. It has to do with this group of people, and this is one area that both sides, it's a bipartisan, they're going to pass it. They agree on this. For some fucking reason, they can't get it done. Yeah. Yes, Jeff. I I think it, it's it's correct that it's pretty uh, la- nasty stuff that they're doing to all kinds of these people who are getting kicked out or or in prison right now. Uh, it's bad news, but it's very very bad business strategy. How the hell can Trump and all of his cronies? And I'll say the Republicans, because the Republicans are everybody who ha- who can make a decision these days. How can they be doing this? It's bad news. It's bad strategy. I would never do that. Well, we have 29 minutes till the government closes down. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why they're doing it, Jeff. They're doing it because the, they're doing it because the donors. The mega donors to the Republican Party want it. That's why the Republicans are doing what they're doing, because their millionaire and billionaire donors want it. Yes, uh, uh, Jason. Mm. Well, Charlene was first. But... Okay, Charlene. All right. You know, I, I like Jason. Um, I'm Mexican by injection. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Got any Mexican in you? <laughs> He used to tell me that, and I didn't get mad I because he was funny. He had a great – I he used to make me laugh, so I let him get away with telling me that. So, no, I just want to tell you, I've heard that there – I'm like I, – my husband is Mexican, and he tells me, you get it crazy. You get it crazy. You know, I'm, I'm crazy over this. I heard there are – they're raiding 7-Elevens. Yeah. Has anyone else heard about that? The yep. ICE is going – Yeah, they're, they're so doing that here. going to fucking make a Slurpee. And, yeah. and so well, coffee it, and lottery it, tickets you know, tell you not to read the magazines, John right? was talking about San what? Rafael, and he was talking about the Canal District, and I know right. what you're talking about. They did that, it right here in the Bay Area, yeah. yeah that's an area White where... White people are not going to uh, serve you a Slurpee. You need a well, poo, well, right? Well, you no, but the Simpsons? It, it, the, we the, need the, somebody the, making yeah. Slurpees, okay. so it's not going right. to be All a right. right. White person, All right. right? All right, Charlene. Uh, uh, I... It, it, I'm talking about canal, the canal area in. I know, in, but I, in I San... told you, my husband always says I get crazy when I uh, find it, out. Okay, all right, no all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 in San Rafael, uh, the canal district, uh, for years now, has been the place where usually it, undocumented aliens go to live, and they live like you know, ten in an apartment because they're sending all their money back home. Uh, and so they live very inexpensively here. And uh, that whole area, you go down there, I think it used to be, used to go down uh, coming off the highway, and they were all lined up there saying, take me home, I'll do your lawn, I'll do whatever. Is that still the oh, case? Oh, it's still like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, yes, uh, let's see here. Who had his hand first? Uh, yes, Jason. Uh, J- uh, no, J- no, Jason, you had your hand up second. 
uh, Mike, to Charlene. Mike had Charlene his hand up. Went. No, Mike had his hand up. I first. went off. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're okay. This isn't going to take everybody away. They're, they're Mexican Americans. Okay, bite you. All right. Who's going to pick all that vegetables, all the produce out in the fields? Let Trump do it. Get off his fat ass. He can pick the all, everything out of the fields. <laughs> all those coal miners who are out of jobs. Right. Yeah, why you know, it? it is so stupid. Why the hell? Uh, do they have a policy for DACA? I don't think so, do they? Or, or, or oh, oh, they uh, don't. Yeah, but you see, the true Mexicans uh, the true Mexicans don't go picking crops because they don't want to work. Don't you know that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, Jason. Yeah. Jason had his uh, hand. So, so that, that was my thing. You guys were saying, you know, what makes them want to do this? And somebody said because they're donors. But no, you know, they feel that they have the ability to do it now because there are a lot of Republicans who are racist and they believe that all of these immigrants who are illegally here are brown and they're not white like them. So <laughs> they want to get rid of them because they're racist. But I, it was just 10 years ago, the number one country of illegal immigrants was actually Poland. We had more people from <laughs> Poland here from that were illegal than any other country in the world, and people did not understand that because they looked just like they did. But they were the biggest illegal immigrant in our country. John? Yeah, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, I have two careers here. I have been a professional videographer for over 30 years, and I've been a licensed contractor for over 30 years. And the undocumented community here is vital to the construction industry. We just had a tremendous loss of homes in the Santa Rosa area because of the fires. Right. And the, the demand for construction workers is at an all-time high. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys are vital to the construction industry here. And that's why the Republicans are talking about building up a wall, but they're, they're going to be running into a wall because of economic need. Uh, there's a site I look at it. I think it's called builder.com mm -hmm. run by a, a conservative guy named John McManus. And he's even talking about the need for, uh, well, he's not calling them undocumented. He's calling them Latino or Hispanic workers. Uh, all the, the jobs I go to, I would say about 85% of them are uh, Hispanic workers. Uh, and that's in one of the wealthiest parts of the Bay Area here. You know, I'm talking about right. Marin, uh, uh, San Francisco, uh, and then down south to Palo Alto. Now, let me ask you this, John. Yeah. Why, why, people would argue with you. Why, uh, uh, why does it take undocumented people to fill those jobs rather than regular Americans? Are there just not enough Americans who want those jobs? Yeah, that, that's that, that's true. A lot of young uh, uh, Caucasians, even blacks, uh, Asians, are just not going into the building trades. In fact, uh, our junior college system out here, the College of Marin, right. has instituted a new trade program, you know, where they're uh, getting uh, union people to work and teach uh, trade classes uh, at, at the junior college. Um, it, it's a problem, you know, a, a lot of the Asians, black, I, I don't know about blacks to a lesser degree, but Caucasians are going into the tech sector. Mm -hmm. and, skilled uh, trades is dirty. You don't want to be skilled trades. That's not I've a good job. I've got two college degrees. I got a degree in English literature from Holy Cross, uh, in Massachusetts. And, uh, I also got a degree in web design from the college of Marin which is a great little uh, junior college. Right. And I, I've been in the trades for over 30 years. So uh, when I first started off, there were mostly white guys working in the trade. And that's in the, oh, the late 70s, early 80s. Mm -hmm. And I've seen a shift. And now it's, it's just the opposite. White guys in the trade here. Wasn't there the a certain minority. amount of racism, though, involved there where they weren't hiring blacks for those jobs? Boy, you know that. I think that still is a problem. I I don't. Occasionally, I see blacks in the trades, but it's a real minority. And then I don't work in Oakland, so I, you know, where there's a bigger. So uh, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this: an yeah. undocumented alien who decides, well, you know, I'm going to go to work uh, being in construction because I can make some yeah. money there. What kind of money can you make doing that? 
and you're an undocumented worker. So apparently some people are going to take advantage of you, right? Yeah. Well, I think for the guys you mentioned that, uh, you know, just the pickup workers, I think they want a minimum of 15 bucks an hour, maybe 20 Ooh. if they have more skills. Uh, then uh, sometimes I, I, I have workers comp. I'm a licensed contractor. I consult with the contractors, licensing right. board. Right. I'm all up on that. Uh, but they uh, have contract labor pools like uh, uh, CLB. And mm. there's a lot of Hispanic guys that work in those. And uh, just to get a basic labor, you got to pay 27 bucks an hour. Wow. You know, they cover so, so, so these people, a lot of these people are here in the United States to earn money yeah. so they can send it back home to yes. their relatives in Mexico yeah. or in yeah. whatever other there are Nicaragua, a lot of Nicaragua yeah. there are a lot of those countries down there. So, and that's why they live like 10 to a room. Uh, just you so should hear some of the stories. I, uh, I did a job in Santa Cruz. I, you know, I'm not going to mention client names or anything, but there was a guy from El Salvador working with us and he had these huge scars on his arms. I mean, yeah. deep cuts, knife cuts. Yeah. And at lunchtime, you know, we asked him, you know, okay, what, you know, what's what's going on here? Uh, he had a an uncle who uh, his dad died or something, and the uncle took over the family. And the uncle was abusive; he was an alcoholic. He would attack the kids, and this guy fought him, and uh, the uncle slashed him like that with a knife. So the kid told us he joined the Salvadoran army so that he could get a gun. He went back to the house and he he just told us he murdered you know his uncle, wow. and then he fled here, and he's a good worker. I mean, we only found this out after months of working with this guy. Oh, I'm getting some feedback. Okay, well, well, anyways, you know what are you going to do? He goes back to El yeah. Salvador. He's dead because he he uh, deserted the army right. and he killed his uncle. So who's going to report them? None of us are going to say anything right. about but, that. But the thing is, the thing mm -hmm. is, what I'm saying is, is that how can you not respect a person who leaves his home to come yeah. to the United States to earn a living so that he sends right. back a majority of the money he's making back right. home to his family and lives really, you know, as I say, tend to a room or tend to an apartment yeah. Uh, so that he can m spend as little as they he can here to survive, so that his family can be provided for. How can you not have a certain amount of uh, respect compassion. for that and compassion for that? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, just just one thing. Uh, yeah. uh, I see another hand up. I won't be long. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's all. This stuff is existing on the surface. If you go beneath it, uh, what, what is the cancer? is NAFTA, and, and you, we got to thank Bill Clinton for that. Yep. Uh, I have a friend who, uh, Miwakan, you know, they're on a big strike there now because the company that bought uh, Pacifico Modelo uh, uh, Corona beer is an American company, mm -hmm. and they're diverting water from yeah. the local town there to make beer, and uh, there are huge riots. Uh, you know, this is all NAFTA-related, yeah. yeah. and... If, you know, they're going to shut the government down on DACA, I think, you know, that's they're they're yeah. going that way because it's an easy thing. As someone said here, 77 percent support for that. Imagine if they said, hey, we're going to shut the government down because mm -hmm. we want to repeal NAFTA. That That's what they should really do. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, um, uh, <laughs> Jason. Jason. <laughs> so here's the uh, two quick parts. You know, one. I'm second generation in this country on my mo my mother's side. So my grandparents came from Mexico. They came over here. My grandmother was an illegal immigrant. My mm -hmm. grandpa, you know, he was a border jumper baby. And uh, <clears throat> well, I don't know if he's really a border jumper. The border jumped him. But, you know, we need, that's my union point of view, you know, bring in the lower skilled workers who are going to come in here and make lower wages so they can come in here they'll make their lower wages their kids will be born here they'll be legal they'll go to american schools they'll get a little bit better of a job than their parents had and then their kids will have a better job than they had just like me 
you know, you wouldn't even know that I was Mexican if I didn't tell you, you know, because <laughs> I have adapted to society. I, you know, th- that's just the way that it is. But, you know, also not only going after illegal workers, you know, you should go after illegal employers. Exactly. Thank because, you for saying that. Yeah. You know, there, how many my, my friends growing up, they work for the party store. We call it party store. I don't know, your liquor store, convenience store growing up and made pizzas. You know, they they didn't pay taxes. You, you don't think the employer you, didn't yeah. pay taxes. By the way, Why you go after you, these people too, who are employing Americans who just aren't paying you, taxes. You don't think you yeah. if you if you if you don't think that Donald Trump, when he was running construction businesses, oh, didn't they, hire they, illegal they aliens. Yeah. Oh. You know, he, he, he brought in people from uh, uh, wasn't somewhere in Europe or something that he brought in a whole bunch of people from to build one of his buildings. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I mean, he screwed them. He's, he's the screwed Netherlands or something, work. right? Yeah. 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 So you know, it's, no, uh, they were from Norway. Norway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did I notice it, uh, Patrick? Did you want to say something? I was going to bring up um, going after the employers. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> the, the what? That that's a big problem. It, you have the employers that are hiring the illegal, and they're not paying the taxes, and and that you know, I mean, it it it's a problem all across the board. Whether it's illegal alien coming in, or it's employers employing them. I mean, you know. Well, um, it is it is illegal. It, it is it is Ill- it is illegal for them to do it. But John. It, don't don't most employers just feel that if they get caught, well, that's the cost of doing business? Uh, unlicensed construction activity is is a pretty big thing here. Uh, the state doesn't have the money to do stings enough of stings to nab everybody, and it's not just Hispanic uh, workers, uh, you know, working uh, illegally as contractors. It's whites. It's it's Asians, you know, it's yeah, but, all over but, you the know, map. I, what bothers me about Trump is that he makes us feel as though these Mexicans are taking away jobs from Americans. To begin with, they're not. They're taking away jobs. They're taking the jobs that Americans don't want to do. That's for starters. It, it's a diversion. The, the people who's taking yeah. away jobs is the big fucking corporations who've uh, shipped out a, a lot of manufacturing jobs. Those are the people that are killing jobs in this country, not the Mexicans. Exactly. Yep. Yes, uh, Jason. All right, so this is, I'm sorry, I had to, didn't you know all the wildfires in California going on right now were set by illegal Mexicans who are oh. already deported five times? So they can get worse. Yeah. So they can get worse. Yeah. No, it, yeah. it just it killed me. It was on Facebook. I saw a story that my oh, aunt, yeah. mm-hmm. it was a aunt by marriage, oh, posted well. that these forest fires that in California were set by illegal <clears throat> Mexicans oh, who already were deported five times. Well, we just hey, Noreen, just, Noreen we, Evans, we, we, uh, a lawyer who uh, yeah. lost a supervisor race in Sonoma County, yeah. is suing PG&E uh, for negligence in their maintenance around the power lines where these fires started. So if you want to point a finger, yeah. point it at PG&E. We've just been joined by Phil Meyer, the devil himself. Hey. Uh-oh. Yeah. Why, why are you here so late? We've got 12 minutes left for the show. I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> two hour well, then we just should go on for another two hours, just so you can be on the air. Either that, or he you woke know. up to he woke up to watch the government shut down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Phil, when you were on with Amy, where were you guys at? Uh, in my hotel room. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, check on. Wow. No. Oh. <laughs> Afterwards, uh, we went to her house, and I got to see Woo! her studio too. Yeah, so, so and I, her rock collection. Okay, and, uh, no more questions. Yeah, and, uh, oh, rock what collection. was the other thing? Uh, the etchings, the etchings, the, the etchings yeah, the as etchings. well. Yeah, um, uh, meet John. He's uh, he's he's new to the group tonight, and uh, yeah, hi. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, Phil is the Antichrist, is what he is, John. In case you've never listened to the show before, he's the one turns his head once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's some pea soup. Yeah. So, how do you feel, about, uh, Phil? How do you feel about the fact that we're 11 minutes away from total and complete shutdown? I think it's wonderful. Well, isn't that the end of your show today for this week? Yeah, maybe the end of uh, doing a show until they can get uh, the whole thing fixed. Who knows? Yeah. 
Well, uh, if the electric grid goes down, then we're in trouble. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> This is not the first time this has happened, and it won't be the last. Yeah. Well, the last I, I time it happened. First time. first time it's happened with one party in charge. That's. I was just going to say that. It, it is the first time it's happened to the Republicans with uh, both the House, the Senate, and the, and the White House. But, uh, hey, it's a first for everything. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, oh, well, that certainly fault. makes me happy. Mm-hmm. That that's, that's so consoling that it's my social know, security check. <laughs> the problem is these sons of bitches end up still getting paid uh, when they allow uh, the the government. Yeah, to they, shut the up. congressmen still get their paychecks. You ready for uh, that one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, there's also a number of services still uh, still are taken care of. Um, I think that um, social security still gets paid. Uh, and and there's uh, a number of other things uh, essentials that that get taken what care. What about of. mail delivery? We still get our mail. <laughs> uh, you know, I I don't know about that. The the post office, I believe, is self funding. Yeah. Social yeah. Security is not part of the budget either. Yeah. Uh, well, but that, I, okay. It's just that uh, there's a number of services that are the still post office. Taking... The post office is self-funded, if I'm not mistaken. Am I am I right about it that, is. Rob? Do you do, yeah. you do you know whether I'm right or wrong on that? I, I think it. I think it is. It's separate, but yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I was listening to uh, you know what was funded and what wasn't funded. Of course, I can't remember. You know, I... what's not funded is NASA, and they're going to quit looking for asteroids and stuff, and supposedly. <laughs> Well, they can't. Right now, Cong up. Congress can't find their asteroids with both hands. <laughs> There's a <laughs> on its way here. They say it's a, it's supposed to arrive early February. So, yeah. yeah. Well, that's okay. We've got Elon Musk. He's exploring space. So yeah. you know, if NASA goes down, we've got uh, Tesla in it, outer space. Exactly. What's he gonna do? Throw his cars at it? <laughs> yeah, right. No, I mean, this guy. He's he, he's actually doing some really amazing stuff. I mean, there's yeah. one rocket yeah. that he's been, he sends up and then can bring it back down and have it land on a platform. Now, sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes it works, but he's doing it more often than not now. And uh, uh, that's... Well, the last time uh, they sent up some sort of top secret satellite and uh, I guess it blew up. Well, you know uh, what I don't get is they used to, remember they used to send up, they said, tonight they're sending up a secret satellite. And I, I, and, I, and I said, I said to friends of mine, so what are we supposed to do? Not look? You know, I mean, what do you mean you're sending up a secret, a, a secret rocket mission? I'm sorry. We're all going to see it. You know? It was like when we were kids and one yeah. kid says, I got a secret. And, uh, but yeah, I can't. Right. Yeah. Uh, so we yeah, saw, yeah, you uh, notice, uh, you notice, uh, uh, Patrick. You notice Elon, Elon Musk yeah. also has a brain boosting formula. And the Republican control FDA has been uh, opposed to it because the uh, Republicans don't want to get smart. Yeah, that's I, right. I, I no, okay, hold on, on hold on a second. Hold on a second. Patrick's got his hand up. Yeah, the, the secret satellite is using the Obama logic of telling the enemy when we're going to withdraw from the battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Are the bags under my eyes coming back now? Everybody. <laughs> uh, yes. They're, they're yeah. not as heavy as they uh, usually are. Yeah. Right. Well, we we put put some stuff on them today. Hey, it's Alex. Re eye remember, eye. remember Jane Dornacker. You know, she oh, used to have those weird googly eyeball things. That you oh, ought yeah. to get a yeah. pair of those. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Those things. Yeah. <laughs> did you do both eyes or just the one eye, Alex? No, we did. We did both of them because it was terrible. I have bag under one and not under the other. So oh, cause oh, I thought you did that for a minute, and that was just under one eye. And I was thinking, I was like, dude, did you have a stroke? No, we did. We, we did. <laughs> we did the other eye as well. Okay. You know. Uh, that's the evil eye. That's the evil eye. In the commercial, they only do one eye. <laughs> uh, do, yeah, well, they only do one eye. That's what. Well, that's what right. we did at the beginning of the show. We did one eye. And that's then, what I saw. Yeah, and then we saw that how that worked, and then I told her to do the other one because I didn't want to look lopsided. Right. I was thinking that you had a stroke. <laughs> but now it's kind of it's kind of turning into dust. I can feel it kind of dissipating. You know. That's what's that's, wrong that's with your it. Soul. Yeah. 
<laughs> huh? That's my soul. Yes, right. Don't talk to me about soul, Phil. Not, hey, not, not, probably could have got the same results with some egg whites. Hell, I mean, hey. it was only two hundred and fifty dollars, but get, sending two hundred and fifty bucks to a billionaire to run for president is just waste of money. <laughs> hey, uh, Bennett, I got so much soul I can't control. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, gee, you're too awake now. Now you're going to stay up all night. You realize that, don't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what is it? You went to Texas and you got worn out, so worn out you had to sleep when you got home? No, uh, you know, I, I got I got home last night at midnight our time, yeah. so it was 2 o'clock in the morning Texas time. So yeah. you when heard Amy came to his hotel room, she wore him out. <laughs> no, thank you, thank you. No, thank you, thank you. Uh, so anyway, uh, this morning I got up at eight, so uh, that would have been, uh, you know, it's either it, it wasn't very much sleep. That's late for you, day. isn't it? I had an appointment tonight. It's cold out. It's not like Texas. Texas is bone chilling cold. Yeah, mm. it, it was nine degrees when I got off the plane. Yeah, and, go, uh, go down there in, in the, Texas. Holy yeah, shit. yeah. In Dallas. Oh yeah, yeah. That's no, it nice can, well, it, it, in northern Texas especially, it can get quite cold. Uh, uh, there's no humidity, none. Well, in Houston, uh, the one thing I remember I uh, Houston is most of the time you couldn't keep a crease in your pants; it was so humid. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. In Dallas, at nine degrees, no humidity. Uh, yeah, I came home. I sat in my chair for a few minutes, and boom, <coughs> you were <laughs> out. You were out. Yeah. Well, we've had a very nice discussion tonight. There, as you can see, it's it's actually not just a full house now with you. It's a full royal flush. Ah, uh, well, I haven't set up my sound effects. So. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> you know. Um, so uh, we're four minutes away from total breakdown, and I've I've heard seen no nothing coming across on my phone. It says anything to the contrary. That's no, because they're all out of business now. You know, they're not going to get paid. Yeah. Still so, settled. It so he, here's the question. Is is the president, in spite of this, going to go to Mar-a-Lago tomorrow because of the oh, party? No, I heard the oh, somebody had a good something. sound effect. <laughs> Alex. What? The Alex, flush. I definitely heard oh, he actually went into the one. bathroom <laughs> to do it. <laughs> what? What did you say, Charlotte? going to Mar-a-Lago. Because it would look bad for him to be there. Well, no, the he's no, there's nothing else going on. There's some other uh, they're celebra- issue. They're celebrating tomorrow's one year since this asshole became fucking president of the United States in what, is, March. what, in what is a absolute dystopian future that we're living in presently. <laughs> uh, uh, we're lucky to have him, but... Uh, he's not going. It, it cost you one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. But to he's be he's got to go to Mar-a-Lago because they're having a big party and he's charging like uh, I don't know five hundred dollars a couple and stuff like that. You, you know, it's, you can you can join Mar-a-Lago for two hundred thousand. You know, it just it's what a deal. Well, actually, yeah, I hear money on that. that. No. Well, I he hear I hear friend. business is bad at Mar-a-Lago because. People don't want to join it because of all the, you know, the, the whole Trump going there and the Secret Service and all of that. And, it's, you know, it's not like the old days. And the building. You know, the good news is I heard they're starting to accept Gabnet bucks. They are. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> you know, for as many people that don't want that, uh, you know, hoopla going on, there's 10 that want to be there because of the hoopla. Yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, by the way, I uh, uh, I just I took I took some Gabnet bucks and bought Bitcoin. So I think we're really. <laughs> yeah. That was a hell of an investment. Yeah. Buy high, buy uh, sell low. Buy high. What sell. happened? I lost Alex. What you have? You don't have me anymore. You're still here. Oh, I just see a logo. It just says Gabnet. Oh, really? Oh, did my camera yeah. turn off? No, no I see you fine. Oh, camera. you see me fine. Oh, you're fine. Okay, you're, oh, you're fine. Got, well, anyway, no, anyway, no, no, no. hey, listen. <laughs> That's right. Let me, let me st- start up uh, with the playing of our theme song. Uh, that, yeah, there we go. That's uh, that's about it. Hey, listen, John. Very good. Glad to have a new caller tonight, and we hope you'll yeah, make thank the, you. Uh, we hope you'll do this on a regular basis. You're very good. Yeah, I'll try. Would you please? Oh, please. Uh, yeah, uh, I got all kinds of stories. 
please call. And Vernon, right. you're terrific too. Please do it more often. Jason, I didn't even get to tell you about Bevan. Yeah. Well, we'll our then, governor. Yeah, then call us next. Uh, 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 you know, Tuesday. next Tuesday, and we'll we'll deal with it. Hey, uh, by the way, uh, Jason, thank you so much. He can only be here once every two weeks because his wife lets him out. Yes. <laughs> Pussy whip to the max. Uh, Mike, thank you. Rob, thank you. Charlene, thank you. Uh, Jeff, always a pleasure. Uh, and, and, and uh, you know, uh, the, our good friend Patrick is, uh, is the best. Uh, uh, Kevin, you're wonderful. And then there's, then there's Phil. Uh, yeah, well, hey, I do the royal flush. Hey, there's so many people there. Why don't you all wave goodbye so that we can uh, uh, call it a night? Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. And that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett, and that is uh, what we call the ramble. And I'm getting rid of everybody and turning off my Skype so that the next show can use it. There we go. And uh, uh, I uh, hope you'll stay tuned for the next show, which happens to be Jack and Amy, and their show is called The uh, Intersection. And that will be followed by Connections at... Uh, one o'clock in the morning and then next tuesday I'm, I'm going way forward before we go on don't forget that uh, damien is here with the exchange each and every night Monday, tuesday through friday at 9 30. i'm alex bennett i'll see you again tuesday same time same station in life in the meantime if you see her tell her i love her okay bye <laughs>